Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn about the skip, skip if, and expel markers in PyTest. Let's start by looking at the tests directory. I have a conftest.py file and two test files, one for the cash sales report and the other for the customer report. The conftest.py file contains a fixture function called read underscore config. Cash underscore sales test file contains two test functions, whereas the customer file contains only one test function. If I execute all the tests in the test directory, I see that one test failed and the other two passed. The reason this test failed is because the XYZ keyword doesn't appear in the query output. Say I want this failing test to be ignored. To do that, I'll use the at pytest.mark.skip decorator. Now if I re-execute all the tests, you'll see that this test was ignored and marked as skipped. You can also see the ignored status in the exported test results. Next, say I only want to ignore this test until April 1st, 2022 because I'm waiting on a bug fix. To do that, I'll use the skip if marker. Now when I rerun the test, this test will be skipped with a reason of waiting on bug fix in the test logs. If I change the date to March 1st, 2022, which is in the past, the skip condition will fail, which means the test will no longer be ignored. Finally, let's look at the X fail marker. You use the X fail marker when you're expecting the test to fail. With X fail, the test still gets executed. However, in the summary stats, it gets marked as ignored. We can confirm this by looking at the HTML output as well. However, if the failing test passes, then the pass status will propagate to the summary stats as well. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.